Good. Um, yes. I, I don't have a question. I just have um, a comment. You know, I've been at the district for 25 years now, and the underrepresentation of African Americans has not improved, but only gotten worse. And I, I, I've come to the conclusion that racism literally lives at East Bay Mud. Um, and as a director, I thought I could help make a positive difference over these 25 years, but it's not, it hasn't come to pass. Um, and I, I, I think um, African Americans at East Bay Mud get the short stick. Um, so I'm always disappointed when receiving these reports. I do understand that um, I, I don't like the content of the report, but I understand that this report is required under the law and that we need to submit this report um, to stay in compliance. So because of that, I am going to move to adopt the report and um, I'm so frustrated. Um, I'll move to adopt the, the report um, and hope that things change in the future. That's mm -hmm. my motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. We have a motion uh, to adopt the report and uh, um, we have a uh, proper second. We do have um, public comment and I don't know, uh, Derry, do you want to respond to respond to Director McIntosh's comment too? I don't need a, a response. Okay. I mean, a response won't be helpful. Um, it will be well-meaning, but um, I've heard every response um, that you can imagine over these 25 years. So I don't need to hear any more. So thank you, Derry. No, thank you. Um, I just want things to change, uh, period. Um, I've gone through, I don't know how many general managers, four maybe, um, and they've all pledged uh, to make a difference and um, things don't seem to be changing, not for people who look like me. Okay. So, uh, Yvette wants to. Yes, she wants to speak first. Oh my God, thank you for those comments. <sighs> Director McIntosh. Um, I thought of Nancy Pelosi standing behind Trump when he gave his a speech and her tearing up his speech, his talking points. And I feel the same way every single time Mr. Derry Moten presents a report. And in all fairness to Mr. Derry Moten, he's just regurgitating past EEOC reports. Mm -hmm. But he contributes to the problem when you get sugar-coated reports that try to hide the obvious. You had five summary of outcomes. The first three talked about minorities in heavy equipment, rangers, and water distribution and plumbing. You need to ask how many of those new hires got let go, because there are a few, quite a few. I'm in grounds, and we're recruiting two or three people. I don't know if this committee knows that the janitors had to arbitrate to get one job. Fortunately, because of that, I have a black woman on my crew that is going to become journey level soon. Why are we hiring twos when we have a pool of minorities in grounds, 18 probably out of 25 that have begged for training? Why are we recruiting twos? I'm going to end by saying that there are a lot more work groups that weren't represented in this summary of, of, of outcomes. And if a white man was in that position, I wonder if he'd still have it. I yield. 
Thank you. Be best.